Hey guys, I am Dr. Smellgood and we're back. As you saw in the thumbnail, we're going to be taking a look at another arm off. Seems like you guys love the arm off reviews and want more and more cheapies, um, quality fragrances. So we're looking at Vitesse Carbon. Little known arm off, not a lot out there by, uh, about it. I bought it as a blind buy. Before we get into that, the box is buried somewhere over there, so I don't, I'm not going to go through the box. But here's the bottle. It's kind of a modern looking bottle. And it does have an actual magnetic lid. And it's a pretty strong magnetic, magnetic lid. So this was complete blind buy for me. It is an eau de parfume. <clears throat> but it says kind of a modern design on it. Not a lot going on anywhere else, guys. Just the name of the fragrance right there. Some information on the bottom. Uh, sprayer on it, your typical arm off sprayer. Uh, decent distribution. So what I get with this one, I'm not going to waste any of your time. I'm very pleased with this one. It's a very, very good fragrance in my opinion. Again, complete blind, blind buy for me when I bought it. I've had it probably six, seven months now. I have given it a lot of wearing in all different weather. Performs well. Mm, it just hit. It's good. All right, so our notes. Bam! We've got, in the top notes, we've got Iris. So before we go any further, the iris in this is, imagine the iris uh, in Dior Homme Intense or Valentino Homme Intense. It's that, not quite that dark or that deep of an iris, but it's close. Um, so if you're <laughs> like my friend Eric and iris is not your thing, you're sensitive to iris or you just don't like iris, Stay away from this one because it does have a pretty heavy iris note in the top and it lasts, dies down a lot, but it lasts pretty much throughout the fragrance. So top notes again, you've got that iris, you've got bergamot, sage, lemon, verbena, uh, lemon, and then the mid notes, lavender, and you've got violet and spices. The base note, leather, ambergris, vetiver, and sandalwood. A lot of those notes might sound familiar to you because this one is actually a mashup that Armoff did between this one which is Green Irish Tweed or Trainee which is their version of it and the Dior Homme Intense uh, or technically I guess you could say Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense or even Valentino Womo Intense mashup and it's basically honestly guys it's basically that iris sitting on Green Irish Tweed uh, and that's it doesn't deviate a lot throughout the scent it is pretty linear uh, the only difference is that iris does die down some and become more of a rounded fragrance with like I said if you can imagine Trainee or Green Irish Tweed that is the majority of the fragrance with iris mixed in that's about the best that I can explain it uh, again Eau de Parfum uh, pretty cool bottle looks like a good strong magnetic lid um, arm off I'm not the biggest fan on like modern looking bottles, but I do like this one pretty well. So other than that, let's talk about performance. Performance, you get about the same performance you do honestly out of um, Trade Nui, which is about, for me, five, six, pushing seven hours on a perfect day. Projection, it projects pretty well. Again, about the same as Trade Nui. So if you're familiar with Trade Nui, it's about the same. It's about arm's length maybe. And I do get anywhere between an hour and hour and a half depending on the weather. This one is excellent in cold weather, guys. Uh, that iris really uh, makes it a little bit better in cold weather than say a Trey Nui or a Green Irish Tweed just because of the iris. But like I said, most of what you're getting is Green Irish Tweed or Trey Nui with iris. Perfect for summer. Um, spray a lot if you wear it in summer. Spring, beautiful. Fall, and then like I said, it's been doing well in the winter so far, and we've had some cold days and it's worked really well. Um, sillage or sillage or the scent trail, however you want to call it, it's there. It's not bad at all. It hangs around. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. My phone's been cutting me off mid recordings for some reason. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, I do everything by my phone. That's all I use. Um, my lighting, I've got a cheap Walmart light that's a three prong. Um, that's my lighting. And then I do everything else by my phone. Uh, it's all phone videos done on the uh, 
iPhone uh, 8s plus and then uh, right I don't know whatever the big 8 model um, and then um, all the editing software and everything are just apps that you can get on the phone so you don't need fancy cameras you don't need fancy lights to do this which it may show in my videos but everything I do is from my iPhone all the editing is from the iPhone uh, free software and then like I said my fancy lighting is the cheapest floor light that Walmart has with the three prong lights that's my lighting I'll take you behind the scenes someday I know a couple of you guys I won't mention any names Clay oh my bad talk, uh, talked about maybe doing a some fragrance reviews but I'm rambling good fragrance around $20 um, any of the discounters uh, you can find it on Amazon you pay a little bit more but fragrance net fragrance a X any of those guys around $20 I enjoy it like I said it's blind buy I really really enjoy it a lot uh, safe $20 spent guys I am Dr. Smellgood. I won't waste any more your time. And remember, if you have a fever for fragrance, the only prescription is more smell good. Peace. God bless.